his work with the Hollywood All-Stars, he has helped generate more than $2.5 million for charities across the country. But even he admits his hard work involved with this humanitarian effort is somewhat selfishly motivated. I demand a sense of humor in any work environment. I gotta have people want to come to work. Don't want them thinking they got some ass of a star who's gonna, you know, embarrass them in public because you didn't light something right or why is it taking so long? Um, that is just childish, immature behavior, and I used to be like that. Used to be, but somewhere along the road to stardom, Richard Dean Anderson learned humility. He became the kind of star that fans love and co-stars respect. On screen, you may remember him from his days as Dr. Jeff Weber on General Hospital, but he's best known as MacGyver, having just finished his seventh season on ABC. Off screen, he's described as quiet, even shy by some, but no one accuses him of being isolated or uninvolved. How could we forget the real love of his life? Anderson dreamed of being a professional hockey player until he broke both of his arms on the ice and decided to look for a safer profession. After years of watching and yearning from the sidelines, he returned to the game and to the dream. For 10 years at least, I've been just a, a, a maniac trying to make up for lost time because, because it is a lost dream. He found an outlet for his obsession in the Hollywood All-Stars, a celebrity team which raises money for those in need. Anderson takes the game and the cause very seriously. He's the kind of person that his teammates admire. As one of the better known stars on the team, Anderson is a major draw for the group. In a game in Detroit last year, his introduction overshadowed a guy named Gordie Howe. See, if I get a better, uh, bigger ovation than, than Gordie Howe, then there's, there's an injustice in life, um, especially in a hockey venue. Others argue that the cheers are justified. In 11 years, I've never dealt with a star that's more gracious with his time for charity. He shows up when he says he shows up. He'll go out there and he'll do 120% for the event. It's, he's the best star I've ever worked with, without a doubt. Through his work with the Hollywood All-Stars, he has helped generate more than $2.5 million for charities across the country. But even he admits his hard work involved with this humanitarian effort is somewhat selfishly motivated. I get to fulfill the fantasies anyway. I get to play with Cordy Howe and Stan Makita and Brad Park and Mike Ruzioni, all these guys who are all my heroes. As he moves on to other projects, most recently a movie of the week with Justine Bateman, Anderson hopes his fans come to know him as a regular guy, simply someone who prefers a good hockey game over a Hollywood party. For Video Special Report, I'm C.J. Silas.